Have you ever wondered how you can add a long shadow in Illustrator? If your answer is yes, then you are in the right place. Hi there everyone, my name is Andre Marius and in this Embaro Task Plus tutorial, I will show you how to create this retro long shadow text effect in Adobe Illustrator. Before we start the work on the text effect, make sure to check out Envaro Elements, where with a simple subscription you can get unlimited access to millions of creative digital assets, such as music, graphics, even text effects, photos, fonts, and many more. You can subscribe right now with the link in the description. Let's open Illustrator to create a new document. Select pixels from this drop down menu. Set the width to 850 and the height to 600. Make sure that the color mode is set to RGB and the resolution to 72 pixels per inch. And then create your new document. You can press Ctrl and 0 to fit the artboard on your entire screen. And before we start the work on the design, let's go to window in the menu bar and open the appearance panel, the color panel, the layers panel, the swatches panel and don't forget the character panel. Once you're done, you can select the type tool from your toolbar and focus on the character panel to select the font that we're about to use for the text. Let's use this Insani Burger font. Set the size to 200. Simply click on your artboard to type in stop. Press the escape key to easily switch to the move tool so you can move this text roughly in the center of the artboard and then reselect the type tool from your toolbar. Click again on your artboard and this time just type in S. Press the escape key to switch to the move tool. Let's change the color of this new text to a blue and move this letter right on top of the S from your stop. Now hold down the R key to drag a copy of this letter. Double click it and replace the S with a T. Press the escape key to switch back to the move tool and move this T right on top of the black one. Again, hold down the Alt key to drag a copy. Replace the T with an O. Press the escape key and move this O like this. And one more time, click and drag. Replace the O with a P. Press the escape key and move this letter right on top of the black one. Let's adjust the position of this letter like this. And when you are done, you can move to the layers panel, select the black text and delete it. Now that you have your text, let's add the long shadow effect. Start with the S and for the beginning, click this none swatch, which will remove the blue color. Move to the appearance panel and click this button to add a new fill for your text. Make sure that the fill is selected and replace the color with 255, 245 and 225. Return to the appearance panel to add a second fill using this same button. Select the bottom fill and change the color to 0, 146 and 69. And then go to Effect, Distort and Transform and Transform. Set both of these move sliders to 0.5. Enter 750 copies and now you can click OK to apply this long shadow effect. Now to further stylize this text effect, let's return to the appearance panel and add a new fill. Make sure that it lies between these other two fills. Keep it selected and first change the color to 42, 27 and 67 and then go to Effect, Path and offset path. Set the offset to minus 10 pixels. Click OK to apply this effect. Return to the appearance panel to reselect this fill and make sure that the new effects that you're about to add will only be applied to this fill. Go to effect, distort and transform and transform. Just move these two sliders to 15 pixels which will move your selected fill 15 pixels down and 15 pixels to the right. Click OK. Again, return to the appearance panel to reselect this fill. And this time go to Effect, Blur and Gaussian Blur. Set the radius to 5 pixels. 
Click OK and get back to the appearance panel to lower the opacity of this fill to 10 pixels. Now focus on the layers panel and let's use this target icon to apply the appearance attributes used for this first letter to the rest of the letters. Just hold down the Alt key and drag this target icon onto the other target icons. When you are done, select just the T, focus on the appearance panel and select this green fill. And let's replace this color with 255, 154 and 9. Move to the O and again select the green fill and replace the color with 244. 54 and 44 and finally select the P, make sure that the green field is selected and replace the color with 7, 132 and 170. Let's continue and add a simple background for this text effect. Select the rectangle tool from your toolbar. Just click on your artboard which will open this window where you can easily set the size for the shape that you wish to create. Set the width to 860 and the height to 610. Click OK to create your new shape. Set the color for this rectangle to 42, 27 and 67. Switch to the move tool and make sure that this shape covers your entire artboard. And then press the shift control and left bracket keys, which will move your shape in the back. Reselect the type tool to add a new piece of text. First lower the size to 50 and then click on your artboard and type in don't. Press the escape key to switch to the move tool. Again remove the text color and add a new fill in the appearance panel. Change the color for this new field to 255, 245 and 225. Let's place this text roughly like this. And then return to the appearance panel to add a second field. Select this bottom field. First change the color to 255, 80 and 145. And then go to Effect, Distort and Transform and Transform. Drag both of these move sliders to 0 0.5. Enter 90 copies. Click OK to apply this long shadow effect. And return to the Appearance panel to add a new fill. Make sure that you have it selected and change the color to 42, 27 and 67. And then go to Effect path and offset path. Set it to minus 2 pixels, click OK, reselect this field from the appearance panel and go to effect, distort and transform and transform. Set both of these move sliders to 5 pixels, click OK to apply the effect. Again reselect this field from the appearance panel and go to effect, blur and Gaussian blur. Set the radius to 4 pixels, click OK, return to the appearance panel and let's lower the opacity of this fill to 10%. Go to the layers panel to move this text behind the rest of the text and then reselect the type tool from your toolbar to add one more piece of text. Click on your artboard and type in believing. Press the escape key to switch to the move tool and move this text roughly like this. Change the color for this new text to 255, 245 and 225. And then go to effect, stylize and drop shadow to apply a subtle drop shadow effect. Let's change the blend mode to normal, lower the opacity to 10%. Set the values for the offsets and the blur to 5 pixels. Change the color to 42, 27 and 67. Click OK and OK to apply the effect. And with this final touch, your design is complete. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Remember to hit that like button as it helps me know that I did a good job. 
subscribe if you aren't already and don't forget to click the little bell icon to be notified of any new tutorials. If you are looking to learn even more, you can always check out some of the many tutorials that Envalotas Plus has to offer. I'm Andre Marius and I'll see you in the next video.